Hi, I'm Len Kaufman, and welcome to Wuhan, China, a city steeped in history located at the intersection of the Yangtze and Han rivers. And one of the most popular attractions in Wuhan is Hubu Alley, a street dedicated to food. Put aside your Western palate and join me as we explore a most exotic, colorful banquet of incredible taste and variety. There are some things to know about Chinese cuisine in general. The Chinese tend to purchase their groceries for consumption the same day and don't typically go shopping for the week as we tend to do in the West. The implement of choice in the Chinese kitchen is the wok, which is used for frying and sometimes for boiling. Steamed food is also very popular. Ovens are rarely used. I visited the apartment of a Chinese friend of mine and her oven was used to store pots and pans, not for cooking. In terms of spices, there is a pretty large divide between East and West. The Chinese use a lot of garlic, chili powder, pepper, cinnamon, ginger, and cumin. And they frequently use spring onions, which we call scallions. But they don't tend to use much in the way of herbs like parsley, sage, rosemary, thyme, oregano, and so forth. If parsley is used as a garnish, it will almost always be fresh and not dried. They don't consume nearly as much processed foods, canned and jarred sauces and condiments as we do in the West. They eat a lot of greens, but not as much fruit as we do. Both China and the West consume fish of many kinds. However, freshwater fish tends to be more common in China than in the West. Dried fish is quite common in China, but not in the West where we tend to favor smoked and salted fish. The most common alcoholic beverages in China are light lager beers such as Tsingtao, which we readily find in Chinese restaurants in the West, and comes from Qingdao, China. There is also a strong vodka-like brew called Baijiu, which is distilled from grains. It is definitely an acquired taste and has been described by some Westerners as sweaty socks, rotten fruit, and much worse. You'll see very little cash change hands in Hubu Alley and quite frankly throughout most of China. Most of the payments are handled with cell phones and QR codes shown here next to the food.
This unusual dish is a whole spiced chicken wrapped in lotus leaves and baked in clay mud. It is sometimes called beggar's chicken because of the legend of its origins. Back in the Qing dynasty, a beggar in Zhejiang province stole a chicken and hid it by burying it in mud. When he retrieved it, he just threw it into the fire to bake it without removing the mud. It was so delicious that he started selling chickens baked that way and made a fortune, or so the legend goes. Dairy products are not that popular in China, but soy is extremely popular. It is a common breakfast beverage and can also be found in a variety of forms in tofu, which may show up as soft, firm, fried, skin, and shredded. Ice cream cake and chocolate sauce would see me through okay. Let's keep eating and competing. Ever and a day, I need something more than soup. Though beef jerky is a popular snack in China, the Chinese prefer fresh meat, bought frequently and used right away. In the West, similarly to our preparation of fish, we consume a lot of salted and smoked meats, such as ham, sausage, and deli products. Yes, it should come as no surprise that the Chinese consume a lot of tea. However, they don't share our addiction to coffee. I did see a huge number of Starbucks, however, and the prices in Starbucks I thought rather high. In Chinese medicine, foods are categorized as hot and cold, but not in the way that we think in the West of those terms. Hot and warm foods are those that bring heat to our bodies. They might include beef, coffee, ginger, hot chilies, and fried food. On the other hand, cold and cool foods cool down our bodies. These would include salad, green tea, and beer. Neutral foods would include oil, rice, pork, and most fish. Soy sauce is ubiquitous and in almost all dishes. It comes in light, dark, strong, and delicate. Hope you enjoyed our culinary adventure in Hubu Alley, Wuhan, China. Different every day.